I feel so gaslit right now. I have to record this video, even though I have my suitcase open here. I'm supposed to be leaving for vacation tomorrow. I haven't even started packing, but apparently Rise of Kingdoms has no plans at present to introduce tier six units. And I feel like we've had like a month of just wasting our time with this discussion. So I'm going to get into everything regarding this post here in just a second. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, yesterday I posted a video where I covered literally every Everything that they talked about in the most recent Frankfurt Germany player meetup for Rise of Kingdoms and then like a few hours later I saw Chisco posted a video talking about this discord post which by the way I saw this discord post when it went up but when I read the start of it it said during the Frankfurt community gathering on August 31st we answered some questions below is a recap I saw this it said below is a recap and I was like okay well I already know what all of that is so I don't have to read the recap because I literally watched the whole video we're gonna take a look here in just a second but why would I need to read a recap of something that I watched in its entirety thanks to frog boy by the way and I, I intentionally didn't show any video of his so that way you guys would go to his channel and show him some support but now now I feel so gaslit that we at least have to watch one little small clip here because I'm losing my mind but before we go any further let's at least read what they said here okay they said what are the future plans regarding t6 or a five unit type like in call of dragons and if you recall that's exactly what was on this slide literally verbatim that is the exact question okay that's the exact thing that was there and so again when I saw this discord post I was like oh I remember them answering that question I already saw what they said I don't have to read this but anyway apparently the new answer is that we have discussed this topic multiple times and conducted extensive research now that much we knew already because they said that at the LA player meetup okay but this part in bold arguably the most important part was was definitely not said at the Frankfurt player meetup and I'm gonna play the dang clip because I we have the we have the receipts okay but what they said is at present we do not have any plans to introduce these updates and by these updates they mean tier six or a five unit type okay so at present we do not have any plans to introduce these updates so first of all great news it looks like tier six units and another fifth tier of units are at least paused if not canceled entirely but the bad news is that they said at present so what that means is they don't have any plans on doing it right now they could do it in the future it might be something that they implement down the line it might be something that they keep working on in the background to try and figure out a way to make it balanced or try to figure out a way that they can do something that maybe players might like right it seems like gunpowder and muskets aren't that popular amongst the current rise of kingdoms community you can take a look at the polls that i showed in my most recent video or you could just go ahead and pull them up on my community page but it seems like muskets musketeers and gunpowder aren't that exciting for the community okay so maybe they have their their thinking that they'll introduce this later with a different troop type or a different theme or something like that but I'm done speculating because at this point we don't have any plans to introduce it so for right now at this moment in time this is not something that we have to worry about at the very least and hopefully it's not something that we will have to worry about ever but this statement in bold was not said it was not said at the Frankfurt player meetup which is so annoying because that would have completely changed yesterday's video if they had just said that verbatim okay moving on it says players have high expectations for new battlefield gameplay experiences they said that they actually said that at the video in the video but they they missed the most important part the bold was the most important part okay for example the firearms arrow with muskets and other popular weapons could significantly impact the battlefield our challenge lies in integrating these elements into the existing rise of kingdoms combat system they said this they literally said oh, you know what let's just let's just play the video on t6 units and uh, the new era we've discussed this topic multiple times and uh, conducted extensive research as shown uh, show in this report the top three areas that players all vote for when considering the next era Mo multiple choice allowed are combined unit types and the commanders so in yesterday's video I said that it was kind of unclear what he was saying here but it sounds like they had some sort of survey that went out and they asked what players might want with a new era and they and I guess the most popular responses was unit types and commanders I'm, I'm guessing I'm that's what I'm trying to understand here that's what he said players have high ex expectations for upgrades 
to battlefield gameplay. Take the firearms era as an example. Where muskets and other popular weapons could dominate the, bat uh, the battlefield. The challenge we face in integrating this popular weapon into ex excited Rise of Kingdoms combat experience. And then they moved on! They moved on! I didn't I didn't pause the video. I didn't I didn't jump ahead. You watched the whole thing with me. At no point at the player meetup did they say that they don't have plans to introduce these updates. Okay? So I'm sorry, but I'm feeling super gaslit right now, and it just feels like like look. Okay, if the intention, if the, if what they were trying to say during that player meetup was that they weren't going to do it, I wish they would have said it. And I will, well, I will say this also. Uh, this is probably, as far as I know, the producer of Rise of Kingdoms' first time delivering this information in English. Okay, I said that in yesterday's video. I made it very clear that I was very impressed with him doing this, and a huge round of applause for him actually learning English over the last year to be able to communicate these things to us directly. So, love that. Okay, love that. It's possible that in this presentation, as he was reading off of his iPad, or sorry, it looks like that is a, a MacBook or something, uh, perhaps he was nervous and skipped that line, or he just didn't say it, or maybe it wasn't written there at all. But regardless, what's true is that he didn't say this very, very important thing that is now in bold on their Discord post, okay? So why this wasn't said, I have no idea did they backtrack and say hey oh my god everyone's losing their mind we have to we have to tell them that we're not doing this is that what happened maybe but the fact that they said this is a recap really feels like i'm being gaslit at this point okay and just to be very clear i'm not mad at rise of kingdoms i'm not mad at the developers i'm not mad at leo i'm not mad at any of these guys i'm just mad that this information didn't come out clearly when it was supposed to because then i feel bad that i'm making videos over here talking about tier six because they're talking about tier six and it's like wh why are we why are we grabbing the pitchforks why are we stoking the flames in the community when you have no you have no plans to introduce them to begin with and look the only reason and i'm sorry i'm going off at this point the only reason that we're even talking about tier six is because they first brought it up at the la player meetup no one was talking about tier six until then no one was talking about a new tier of view unit or a fifth tier of unit or anything like that no one was talking about muskets or firearms or a new era like there was a little bit of discussion like two months ago when they released that survey but they could have just killed it right there but instead they followed up with that at the la player meetup i feel like they were the ones that even brought this up in the first place and if they had no plans at present to do it why would you introduce such a polarizing and negative idea and thought into the brains of the community and then let people like me and Chiskel and other content creators run with it and make videos about it like of course those videos are going to get clicks and views like i'm going to talk about it because it's a big deal for the future of the game and yet you have no plans to introduce it that should have been like abundantly clear from day one at the at, at, like that should have been that should have been the title of this slide right here great news we're actually not going to do it okay that's what that should have been so anyway all of this to say ladies and gentlemen no matter how we got here whether it was a miscommunication whether it was a mistranslation whether it was a backtracking no matter what it was okay it seems like great news at present they don't have any plans to introduce these updates so you guys don't have to worry right now we are not getting tier six units we are not getting a fifth unit type like in call of dragons and i think that that is generally a good thing most players were very negative about this even in yesterday's video players were very negative about this in the comment section below for the third fourth fifth time that we've talked about this over the years in rise of kingdoms i've seen people posting on the official facebook group i've seen people posting on discord people were not happy about this uh, potential implementation and just to be clear they did say at present so maybe down the line maybe someday we're gonna get another tier of units but right now it looks like they are not going to do it so great news ladies and gentlemen if you've been trying to wage the war against this implementation then you can sleep easy we did it boys we are uh i don't even know if it was the player backlash that convinced them to change this or if they just never intended to do it all along and it was just some big miscommunication but like it sure feels like they let the miscommunication go on for a, a quite a few number of weeks 
before being like hey actually we're not doing it so i don't know guys i have no idea um who knows what the future of rise of kingdoms holds but it seems like it doesn't hold a weapon in its hands that fires bullets so that's a good thing guys I want to know what you think about this in the comment section below and by the way yes they are still adding vip 19. i did actually have to go back and reread all this stuff because apparently apparently it's not an accurate recap okay you guys watched it with me he didn't say what was in bold here and so that means anything else in here anything else in bold right like all these are in the design phase i remember them saying that about the new player thing like uh, i'm gonna have to reread this a third or fourth time just so that way i can make sure that i didn't get any more information wrong even though i was just going off the words that were spoken but anyway tier six units apparently not a thing not happening a fifth tier of unit apparently not a thing not happening great news ladies and gentlemen round of applause shout out to rise of kingdoms for killing this idea before it even came into the game i'm very happy to hear that i don't think anybody wanted this that is great news i want to know your thoughts about this in the comment section below are am i am i crazy am i losing my mind like am i feeling gaslit for no reason or like if, i mean we watched the clip we watched the clip right let me know what you think about this in the comment section below the lilith and rise of kingdoms thank you for canceling the the plans or the idea of introducing these new tier of units that is amazing thank you if you guys are happy about this drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton of helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so the rise of kingdoms blah, 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 blah. so the rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and like i said at the beginning of this video i will be going on vacation so i will be gone until the 10th but i do have many videos planned for you guys in fact i might have more videos going up while i'm away than when i'm normally here every single day so anyway there will be plenty more content coming while i'm away but if there is content that is missing for example if they announce the stats for the new archer commanders which they probably will by the way i suspect they will if they announce those stats i'm not going to be able to talk about it until i get home because i will not be here with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.